Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's just jump right into it. Okay, so this is what my son's bedroom used to look like. It's pretty basic, but nonetheless, it's clean. And it stayed this way for about six months. But then, furniture started breaking and the carpet got extremely dirty. Three attempts later and here we are. So this back wall was the most drastic change that was made in the bedroom. I know a lot of you have probably want a tutorial on it, but guys, I didn't have a design in mind. I literally started with the four squares when I taped off the wall and just mirrored the shapes on both sides. As you can see, it's not perfect. I had to end up putting the tape back on the wall because some of the paint peeled when I was removing it and then use the sponge, not the sponge, the roller to go back over it. But from far away, you can't even tell that it's not perfect. I decided to go ahead and use the rest of the paint from the wall to paint the dresser, which you can see this dresser is hurt, honey. I bought it off of Facebook Marketplace for $25. I need to add some curtains and also remove those decals. Now here I'm just showing you what it looks like when I put the tape back on and this is me correcting my error. So the best thing about this portion of the makeover is that it was completely free. The paint I already had for my banister, I used it on his back wall and also to update the dresser. The brass knobs that you're seeing me put on actually came from the cabinet hardware in our kitchen when we switched it out and it made a drastic change. Guys, I encourage you guys to shop your house. You do not have to go out and spend money to do room makeovers. Um, I would usually use a flat paint, but since I already had the satin paint, I decided just to go with it. But just to let you know, fingerprints do show up on the satin paint. And here, again, I'm just shopping my home, things that he already had in his bedroom, and I'm just putting his dresser back together. This room makeover really didn't even take a lot of time or cost a lot of money. So I did end up purchasing curtains for $35 from Ikea. The curtains from Ikea come in like 96 inches, so you will have to hem them to fit the window frame depending on how you want it to lay. But I think that this really enhanced the room as well. I think it made it look more put together. Next, I'm just rearranging his pictures. He had these um, canvases behind his bed, and so I thought that they would look better on this wall since it's smaller and it fits better to scale. These were existing side tables that he had in his bedroom, but if you're interested in purchasing them, I do believe that they're around $10 from Ikea. You do have to buy the legs separately. I think they're $5 and then the top is $5. He loves plants and he doesn't want to throw this plant out even though it has died so many times. So we're just going to keep it in his room. I'm just trying to rearrange it and really just find the healthiest looking angle. So I already knew that I would have to purchase rugs, but I'm so happy that I found these at a thrift store for $10, shampoo them, lay them out. His carpet just wouldn't come clean. So this is what I use to distinguish between his sitting area and where he sleeps. So now I'm just putting back his existing furniture. So I'm just fixing up his bed and then I have one more item to bring into his room. So 
So this is a chair that I found on Facebook Marketplace. It was an absolute steal. It was $25. It just needs to be cleaned up and then we're gonna put it in his bedroom. Makeover complete. Now it was $35 for the curtains, $20 for the rugs, $25 for the armchair for a total of $80. Okay guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up. And until next time, take care.